IGIS Integrated Geo Instruments and Services Private Limited The new era of locating yourself Design Development and Production of Geo Scientific Instruments The Integrated Geo Instrument Services Private Limited in short IGIS the leading manufacturers of geophysical instruments having a wide range of resistivity meters, well logging equipments, borehole cameras, water level indicators, recorders, magnetometer and so on. Now we are here with an explanation speaking about one of our model, borehole logger model SSR MP1SL. Here if we observe, we are demonstrating you the operation of the logging. This particular instrument is a dual mode in logging mode you can do logging and in resistivity mode you can use it for the surface resistivity the surface resistivity option is similar to our model SSR MP1 for whose video file is already available now coming down to logging option when you place it in the logging option we can use this for logging a borehole usually logging is done in the sediment areas before constructing the tube well here for the demonstration, we are demonstrating in the existing bore well. Here, the equipment is supplied with the guiding pulley, the measuring counter, winch with 400 meters PVC cable. Though it is a PVC cable, it is a combination of steel and copper stand. Steel is for the strength and copper is for the conductor. This particular PVC cable is popularly used from a couple of years and it's very strong. And here is the probe which is broken into two points. One is for the short normal and another one is for the long normal. Now we are connecting these probes. You can just place it and screw it. The unit is supplied with the spanner given for you to just tighten it a bit. Don't force it. Just to tighten it, you just get a grip. Locking grip. Okay. Once it is locked, for the safety factor, we are suggest you to place uh, uh, insulation tape to it. It is just for a protection. However, the probe has a O-ring inside, and there is no chance of water leakage into it. This is just for a double safety factor. Now, I am the probe to the cable here it's very simple you just need to position it at a particular place and rotate it it's locked and the probe is connected once the probe is connected now screw it up and just use the spanner just for locking don't force it just for locking simple locking you just use the spanner and now the instrument is ready for the operation after connecting the probe now let me release the lock and free the cable we have provided a lock to lock the winch and i have released the lock and then pulling the cable accordingly the unit is supplied with a handle it's a manual driven winch mechanism handle is used during rewinding the cable now i am lowering the probe into the board the total parameters short normal and long normal resistivity probe into the board placing the cable initially i am setting the thing and we will set it to zero to the surface of the probe afterwards before that exercise let me just lock it back and Connect the rest of the things required. That is, C2 and P2 is inside. P1 and C1 near to the bore, and C1 somewhere around 15 meters away from the bore. Make sure there's a proper contact to the ground. Now we are positioning the winch properly. The counting also counter also properly. We have provided certain certain plugs to make sure the Counting dial is fixed properly and in a similar way we have the additional pins to place it here to make sure the winch 
is not moving. We have placed the cable winch mechanism in such a way that it is straightly positioning to the bore and accordingly the counting dial is placed here to operate the winch and I have positioned the probe exactly to the ground level and set the counting to zero. Always make sure to set the counting to zero. The button has to be pressed this way, not in the reverse direction. Reverse direction would damage. This is the position to drive to set it to zero. Now our setup is ready and we will just move forward for the demonstration of the logging activity. Start the activity. I am connecting the instrument. Here the instrument is supplied with a power source of 20 volts battery. Here there is a connector. One end of the connector has to be connected. Make sure there is a notch here and you find a notch even here. This has to be placed accordingly. It will not sit in any other direction. Once it is placed, just tighten the screw. Similarly, the other side you plug it here and tighten the screw. Now, we are starting the operation of the equipment. Switch it on. Place the unit in the log because we are doing logging activity. We have the options of current in milliamps, 1, 10 and 100. And here we have the P ground and C ground. As I mentioned in my earlier, P is connected to the nearest point of the bore and C is connected somewhere around nearly 15 meters away from the bore which is on the straight line. Now, I will just give you a brief. Usually, logging is done for a fresh bore to construct the tube well. In this case, being a demonstration, we have taken the existing tube well. Here, just to give you an idea, the bore is somewhere around 60 meters depth and uh, the water table is around at 7.5 meters as of now and the casing is up to 30 meters. I am giving you these details. The reason is here if you observe, usually if it is a fresh bore, as soon as the water level in the fresh bore, mostly the water is stable is in the top. As soon as the rope touches to the water level, the indicator from the red, it moves to black. In this case, being water table being at 7.5 meters, I should wait till the needle pushes to black. Only then the contact generates. Contact until unless the probe is immersed into the water. Till then there is no contact. Once it is immersed into the water, the contact is generated. Now, as you observe, here we have taken the readings and uh, found that these readings are uh, erratic and as we know, the casing is up to 30 meters. We have ignored these things measurements and as you observe we are taking the measurement at 2 2 meters interval at this particular bore yeah taking the measurements might be 2 meters interval 1 meter interval or 0.5 meter interval as per the field condition there so here for the demo we have taken 2 2 meters interval and as i mentioned the casing is up to 30 meters we have ignored collecting the data here we kept it blank reason is do I take the readings? It is erratic readings and it's an abnormal readings and I don't need that data. My concern is the data has to be taken after the probe goes below the casing. Here if you observe from 30 meters the values are high. That means we are in contact with the ground. The casing is not there. Now we will go to 32 meters and in 32 meters if you see here the reading is minus 249 and R is 34 and that is short normal and long normal is 11.24. Here it is very important for us to observe whether the values are in positive or negative. In this case you are finding the values in negative. Make sure the values are in negative you should indicate that is it is negative values based on the values whether it is positive or negative, 
the plotting has to be done accordingly this way we need to collect the data in the bottom of the borehole the operation is down logging or up logging the data would be the same but for a proper analysis always up logging is advisable because the cable is tight intact and the measurement is taken as per the thing here for the demonstration aspects we have shown you the down logging but general practice is reference is down logging and up logging is the actual procedure to collect the data this way after the data has been collected we are storing the data that is as i mentioned it this doesn't have memory we have manually written the data this data can be plotted using an excel file for which we have done a small application to make it convenient and that explanation is continued further let me explain you about the current requirements here if you see the options we have 1 10 and 100 this being a granitic terrain the values has to be placed in 1 and in the sedimentary areas we place it in 10 and if it is highly saline then in that case we need more current so we place it in 100 being a granitic terrain i need a very less current so i am placing it in 1 as we mentioned earlier usually logging is done in the sedimentary areas to construct the tube well but we have a wonderful case study wherein this logging can be done with these instruments because our instruments being a combo version logging come resistivity meter wherein we can log a failed bore well subject to we are filling it with water to make sure the contact is generated and once failed means it is a empty bore so we need to fill in the water once we fill in, uh, fill in the water you lower the cable and take the measurements in that case you can get the fractures and the resistivity values at a particular point and later near to it if we carry out a resistivity survey we can identify and correlate the resistivity values and fracture zones with the values what we get here is a very good example this bore is my recharge pit and i have a bore there which is also logged use and this resistivity values are correlating and if we are recharging this bore that is influencing that bore and this becomes a very good recharge pit and that is a pumping unit during the summer though we don't have proper water as we are regularly recharging it we'll have surplus of water this is a wonderful case study what we have wherein we can do logging for failed bore wells as well with this i complete the demonstration of logging activity using our spot logger model ssr mp1 sl and we have other versions like atsl and dmpl3 and dmpl2 which would be explained in my next videos